Welcome to the spoken tutorial on working with sheets. In this tutorial, we will learn to insert and delete rows, columns, sheets, rename sheets, and move sheets. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us open our personal finance tracker .ods file. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Columns and rows can be inserted individually or in bulk. First, we will learn how to insert a new row or a new column in the spreadsheet. In our personal finance tracker.ods file, let's click on the cell C1. This cell has cost written in it. Now click on the row icon in the standard toolbar. Many options related to rows are displayed in the context menu. Notice two specific options insert rows above and insert rows below. I will click on the option insert rows above. A new row gets inserted just above the cell C1. Now click on the column icon in the standard toolbar. Many options related to columns are displayed in the context menu. Notice two specific options insert columns before and insert columns after. I will click on the option insert columns before. A new column gets inserted to the left of the cell C1. Let's undo these changes. Rows and columns can be inserted by clicking on sheet in the menu bar as well. Another quick way to insert a new row or column is by right clicking on any cell. Right click on cell C1 and click on insert option. The insert cells dialog box opens. Here choose as per your requirement and click on the OK button. Explore these options on your own for your understanding. I will skip this and click the cancel button to close the dialog box. Next we will learn to insert multiple rows and columns at the same time. Let's say we want to insert four columns before SN which is cell A1. So select the cells A1 to D1 by clicking and dragging the left mouse button. All the four cells get selected. Right click anywhere on the selection and select insert. In the insert cells dialog box click on the option entire column. Then click on the OK button at the bottom. Notice that four new columns get added before serial number. Now click any random cell to deselect. In similar manner, we can add multiple rows as well. Explore this on your own. Next, we will learn about how to delete columns individually and in groups. Select any one column by clicking on the alphabet of the column above as shown. Now click on the column icon in the standard toolbar and then on delete columns option. The selected columns get deleted. Suppose we want to delete more than one column at a time. In my case, I want to delete these three columns which we inserted just now. So, select the three columns by clicking on the alphabet of the column above as shown. All the three columns get selected. Now, click on the column icon in the standard toolbar and then on delete columns option. The selected columns get deleted. In a similar manner, we can delete multiple rows as well. Explore this on your own. 
we will now learn about how to insert and delete sheets in calc there are several ways to insert a new sheet in calc we will learn about each one of them one by one at the bottom left we see a tab named sheet 1 there are some icons located before that when we click on the plus icon a new sheet named sheet 2 gets added this new sheet gets added to the right of the current one we can also add sheets by clicking on the empty area next to the sheet tabs by doing so the insert sheet dialog box opens up using this dialog box we can add a sheet before or after the current sheet we can also add any number of sheets at a time under position i will select before current sheet and in number of sheets i will specify 2 and then click on the okay button at the bottom notice that sheet 3 and sheet 4 gets added before sheet 2 another way to insert sheets is to click on the sheet menu in the menu bar then click on insert sheet on doing so the insert sheet dialog box opens up i will skip this and click on the cancel button at the bottom next let us learn how to delete sheets sheets can be deleted individually or in groups to delete a single sheet right click on the tab of the sheet you wish to delete and then select the delete sheet option a confirmation dialog box pops up click on the yes button the selected sheet gets deleted how can we delete multiple sheets at a time For example, say we want to delete sheet two and sheet three. First, click on the sheet two tab. Then, holding the shift key on the keyboard, click on the sheet three tab. Now, right-click on any one of the tabs and click on the delete sheet option. A confirmation dialog box pops up. Click on the yes button to delete the sheet. both the sheets get deleted let us undo these changes by pressing control plus z keys sheets are named by default as sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 and likewise calc has a provision to rename the sheets based on your needs for example let's rename sheet 2 as dump do this by simply double clicking on sheet 2 tab rename sheet dialog box opens up there is a text box with sheet 2 written in it delete this and type dump as the new name click on the okay button sheet 2 tab has now been renamed to dump let us undo these changes by pressing control plus z keys we can manually rearrange the sheets by clicking on a sheet and dragging it to the desired location save the file by pressing control plus s keys on the keyboard now close the file by clicking the x icon on the top right corner this brings us to the end of this tutorial let us summarize in this tutorial we learn to insert and delete rows columns sheets renaming sheets and move sheets as an assignment open spreadsheet-practice.ods select and delete the column with the heading sn enter relevant data in name department and salary columns refer to the code file link for details rename the sheet as department sheet save and close the file the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it 
The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This is Arvind along with the Spoken Tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.